Now in this demonstration we're going to make a 3D toaster. So to start with, it begins in the same way as most objects, but in this case we're going to utilise the ruler just to extend the shape by a couple of centimetres up to 70 millimetres, 7 centimetres. And that's just going to give our toaster a more rectangular or cuboid look than it just being a, a normal cube. Okay, so we're going to just again use the isocrator just to extend the shape around and from here on it's very very simple just, to, just as you are drawing a normal cube. So lining the template up, using the pencil going straight to the bump stop, nice and easy. With a few more lines put in the right places there you've got your basic cuboid. Now we're going to go to the next feature of Isosketch which is the rounded corner tool and we're just going to take the top sort of ends off if you like. So we're going to use the, the wider tool to begin with, the obtuse tool if you like. And then we're going to go to the back corner and use the acute tool. Now this first one is very simple, very straightforward. You just line it up with the back corner and then draw across the template. For the next one it helps just to draft a line across using the ruler because this one's going to help you line up your second corner. Now the way to do this one is just to line it up as if you're in the back corner again. But now just join up a little bit missing from the end of your line. It's quite hard to explain but once you've had a go at it you'll realise that it's, that it's actually pretty straightforward. So now we're going to go to the bottom edge of our toaster and we're just going to add a sort of base to the toaster using the isocrator and you can see here we're just lining it up with the, the drawing and with the line that we've created just to give a sort of extruded base feature. So turning around we're now going to use the mouth of the tool just to get those little sort of back corners which otherwise would be quite awkward to draw but with the mouth that's that's when you will use the mouth, that's when it becomes useful. It's not something that you do use a lot, but in this situation it's, it's quite a useful little feature just to have on there. So you can pretty much tell what's going to come now. We're just extending on, using the creating tool, down a couple of millimetres. In this case we've started off with two millimetres. And now we just line up the tool again. Make sure that the centre line of your tool, in this case, matches the end line of your cuboid, the nearest corner if you like. And then just continue that up. And that's done in next to no time there. So again, we just join the back up. Now the next part of this sketch um, is we're going to create the slots in the top of the toaster. So to do that, we're just going to make some reference points first using the ruler and just using it on the creating tool. And we're going to mark slots that are five millimeters apart. In this case, we've done them 10 millimeters or a centimeter in from the edge. And it's just, again, it's just a case of measuring with the ruler. So you see there, lining the ruler up, counting to 10 mil in, making a mark, 15 mil in, make a mark, leave a centimetre, do the same again. Okay, now the next step, obviously, just to join these together, draft a line across. This is very much a case of just marking out the area that we're going to use, and then later, obviously, rubbing this out. So, to begin with, just lightly drawing in the lines till you've got this kind of a look. Now, the next thing, in a similar sort of fashion to the first stage of marking out, we're going to mark a point at which we're going to chop these slots off, if you like, to give them some, some definition, some end. So in this case, we're going to mark 15 millimetres from the end of the ruler on both sides. Make a mark. And then again, just use the creating tool, lining it up across the drawing. And this, again, it's just a case of lining up the angle of the tool with the angle of the drawing, just so that you've got a nice, consistent plane, if you like, across the sketch. So just quickly mark off where those lines would come to. Do the same on the back, and this will give us an area that we can then put some pen to and define later on after we've rubbed things out. And the next couple of things are just little finishing touches, if you like. So we're going to use the the mouth of the tool just to give some depth to the toaster slots. If you've watched the tutorial demo, then this is exactly where we've got that from. Just a little case where you you use the the mouth tool rather than using the creating tool. Now the next bit, we're just going to use one of the ellipse tools. Just to give a little, just a bit of design really, I suppose, to the toaster, using half of the circle, just going from the two centre lines, just to, to give the impression of a, a little pressing there on the, on the side of the toaster. Now next up, we're going to create the slot where the lever's going to move up and down for the toaster. So again, we're just using the ruler to mark off an area that's a centimetre wide, 10 millimetres, and then again, use the creating tool lined up with the drawing, just to go to 20 millimetres on both sides so that we can then join them up at the top. Now instead of joining them up with the straight line, we're going to put the, the lever in as a kind of circular 
button if you like. So we're using the ellipse tool there, just lining it up. This ellipse is 10 millimeters in diameter, and this just gives a nice effect for the button. So rub your lines out, and you can start to see the toaster really starting to emerge now. Little finishing touch now again, we're just going to use the crating tool just to give a little indent into the slot where our lever moves up and down. Obviously there needs to be some sort of recess there for it to look realistic. So it's just a case of using the tool twice to give that impression of relief on the toaster. Now we're going to use the corner tool now. Just imagine that the line you've rubbed out already going across the toaster is your kind of centre line. And we're going to position the tool so that the kind of corner of the angle, if you like, runs along that line. And we're just now using the tool to, to almost show a little bit of, of a contour, just to, just to give the idea that this whole edge is a curved, perhaps shiny edge made of, of sort of aluminium. And there we have it. So all that's left to do is just to add a couple of arrows, directional arrows, instead of labelling the drawing, just to show the features of it. So we're going to add one double-ended arrow here, just above the slot, showing that it's a moving part. And also one that just indicates that these slots are where your bread will go. Rub out the pencil, add a splash of colour, and there you have it.